Okay, welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. This probably blew your ears out. Um, let's continue on. Um, the first thing I want to do is delete the Turbo Smooth. We know now it's okay. Let's zoom out. Let's select this side of the car, get rid of it. And let's grab this and hide it. Okay, let's start here. Now, the way I work is to clean up uh, the sections as you go. It just makes it easier. I like to just clean up my sections um, before I move on to a new part. So let's do that now. Um, go here. Just want to kind of straighten some of these up. sections. Okay, now up here, you'll see here that we have um, not quite round enough up in this area. So let's go here. Let's collect. Uh, let's click on those. Do a connect. Let's go here and then start adjusting these vertices a little bit better. Top view, top of that grill there. Okay. And then down. Let's undo that. Okay. And then here, let's pull this forward a little bit. Make that a bit more even. Now, let's just for the heck of it, because I want to make a point here, I want to show you something. Let's put the turbo smooth back on it. Let's hit. Let's rotate around. You see that right here? It's kind of, you can see there's a bit of a dent right in there, so we're going to have to fix that. So let's go ahead and get rid of that turbo smooth. Turn on F4 again. And then let's kind of move over here. Z to zoom into that area. Okay. And then let's rotate this up. And there you can see we've got uh, a little bit of a problem there. And let's just start straightening these up a bit.
especially cars. Because you see them every day, you know exactly what they look like. Uh, you know that a car, if it has a dent in it, it's been damaged, it doesn't usually come from the factory that way. So you want to be mindful in your model to uh, take care of some of those issues that you see. and no matter where you end up working as a 3D modeler, uh, you will have to do this. Let's see, we'll pull this one back just a touch. So, although it's a little tedious, that's the reason why I'm not going to do the entire, uh, I'm not going to spend forever on this. I do want to uh, continue on with other portions, but I did want to show you how to kind of begin this process of looking in all the different views, getting a good idea where there might be some problems, and then start to straighten those out so that you have a cleaner uh, model. And let's just throw that turbo smooth back on there one more time. And let's uh, zoom out, turn off F4, and uh, let's just hit two iterations. And you can see I took care of a lot of that, but there's still some denting right in here. Um, also, we have some sort of a problem here. Let's take a look at that. Okay, let's go down here. And when we added uh, these, let's hit F4 to turn the uh, edges back on. And when we added this little strip of polygons here, I suspect, yes, that they didn't get connected. So let's target weld. Let's go here to here. Target weld that. Let's see if this one's connected. It is not. Target weld this. Okay, let's move down. Let's try this last one. It is not. Here, that is connected, so we'll do an undo there, zoom out, turn the turbo smooth back on, turn off F4, turn off vertex mode, and you can see now that that's connected up nicely, okay, so now we have that, and you can also see here that we have, uh, it's not quite square enough. Let's turn off Turbo Smooth. Let's go in here. And uh, let's grab this edge. Let's do a connect. Let's just move that along like so. As you can see, we have a little bit of an artifact right there that we'll have to take a look at later on. So let's turn that off again. And the reason why that is happening is because we've got this pretty close. Let's, let's actually move that over just a skosh. See if that helps some. Okay, it's, the shape is pretty good. And... Uh, got a little bit of a problem there. Uh, let's take a look. Okay. Let's go up here in this view. See what we got going on here. Okay, let's grab that point right there. Just kind of move that out just a, just a touch. Now make sure you turn off edge constraints. Straighten it. 
smooth again. Let's see what we've got now. And that'll do for now. Um, as I said, I mean, you can spend hours and hours and hours and should um, spend many hours trying to get your model uh, clean, try to get your model straight, uh, turning off turbo smooth, looking at different areas that might need reinforcement, like right here. See this point right here? Needs to come in a little bit. It's just bumped out a little too far at this point here. Just straighten that out a little bit. Uh, this point here. Just straighten that out just a touch. You can spend just limitless hours uh, tweaking your model, making sure that it's as straight and nice as it can be, but for the purposes of a tutorial, uh, that would be <laughs> something you would hate watching. Um, so I'm going to make it kind of as straight as I can as we go, and uh, just let you guys handle it from that point on. So uh, hang in there, and we'll be back with the next one. We'll continue uh, with the door, making the door uh, of, uh, of this car out of a spline. So hang in with me, and we'll be back. Thanks.